Now I'm going to show you how to connect the UDMA to uh, to the MacBook uh, through the Wi-Fi. Uh, first, you have the unit turn on, and you have the uh, Wi-Fi adapter connect to the uh, UDMA two, and just select the uh, Wi-Fi. Hit enter. It's uh, loading right now. And the Wi-Fi is starting up right now. And there's a SSID called Hyperdrive, and showing the capacity inside the uh, hi uh, the UDMA two. And now it is the the IP address uh, for this unit is a one ninety two one sixty eight point zero point one. And after that. Go to the MacBook and you turn on the Wi Fi. You turn it on Wi Fi. And you're going to select the uh, hyperdrive, the SSID hyperdrive. So the MacBook right now is connected to the hyperdrive. And then you're going to go to the uh, Fighter then hit go and the go to connect to server and then um, the server address we're going to type in smb column slash slash 192 168 0 and 1 and then connect and we're going to connect as a guest And here you can see the C drive, which is the hyper drive. You can double click on the C drive. Let's see. Connecting. So I can see. The, okay, here's all the uh, the data that inside the. Uh, uh, UDMA2 and if you want to copy the folder uh, to the computer so basically it's just like let's say I want to uh, copy the uh, hyperjuice folder so I just uh, highlight the folder hyperjuice and say copy hyperjuice and then you can copy it into my MacBook under the uh, pictures and I'm going to paste them you can see right now it's a copy into the uh, com computer and it's done right now and then see there's a folder right here and send same thing if you want to copy something back to the uh, hyperdrive uh, let's say I want to copy this uh, uh, this picture to the hyperdrive so basically just like uh, I click on the mouse and say copy and then go to the uh, hyperdrive Let me start again. Okay, so go to hyperdrive and then paste them. And you can see the picture right here. This is the the picture that I transfer from the computer to the hyperdrive. And if you want to disconnect that, uh, the if you want to disconnect the um, the UDMA two from the computer, remember to hit the eject button. And after that, you can just uh, turn the the unit off. So power off. Yes, all the time. And that's all. And it's turning off the unit right now. It's done.